All right, looks like we are started on Facebook and TikTok. Awesome. Welcome everyone. So today's training, great topic tonight. Five things to do when you feel overwhelmed by your to-do list. I don't know about you, but I had one of those days and I had to implement all of these tools myself. So these are the things of when you feel like you are overwhelmed by all of the things that you need to do in a day and you find yourself in a place where you might uh, trigger off a whole barrage of self-criticism, negative self-talk, any of those kind of things that end up coming up and what you can do with it instead of going into a freeze mode, a procrastinating mode, or just negative spiral downward, right? So you don't want to get into that. And we're going to give you five tools that you can start to implement right away so that you can be happier and you won't have to go down that path of feeling overwhelmed. So the first thing, oh, before we get into that, if this is your first time joining me, my name is Tina. I am a happiness coach and I help um, you transition from feelings of anger, depression, sadness, uh, feeling overwhelmed, anxiety, any of those kind of things. Hey, Kyle, you're unhappy. Um, type in any specific questions that you may have, and I may answer those at the end of the training. So, um, you're in the right place, definitely. Okay. So I help people transition and I give you guys tools. And if you guys, um, since you're on TikTok, uh, Kyle, you want to go to my Facebook group, which is called the happiness coach and sign up there. Make sure you answer all the questions or you won't get in because we want to make sure that's a safe place for everyone. So make sure that you um, go to that Facebook group. There's lots of training and tools that you can get there to help you with your own personal happiness. And once you're in there, if you have more questions, you can ask questions and I may do a training on that um, and we can possibly talk, okay? So uh, number one tool that you can do when you are feeling overwhelmed by your to-do list. And I did this today myself, is I had all of these things that I I knew I had to do and I was like, ah, you know, uh, and trying to figure out which priority to put them in and it seemed like there were conflicting priorities. It's like, well, everything seemed important. So the first thing that I'll do is I will take a deep breath, slow my breathing down. So that helps get me out of the fight or flight uh, response and it helps um, calm my nervous system, allows me to think more clearly by bringing more oxygen to my brain. Um, and I detach, I take a step back from whatever the problem is. So I might go outside and just um, get a bit of fresh air. I might go do some other task just to step away from the actual problem. It helps give you perspective. So if you imagine yourself where you are, it's like when you get that feeling of overwhelm, you are too close to the problem. So it's like being like this and trying to see a better perspective from this. You can't do it, but if you take a step back from it, it's like, oh, I can see a little bit better now. I can see around things rather than staring straight at the wall that <laughs> you seem to be facing, right? So number one is breathe and detach. Okay. Number two, I call this retrace. So this one is a really interesting one. And I haven't really talked about it before. Um, you want to retrace when was, okay, so if you're feeling overwhelmed or anxious in this particular moment, when was the last time that you were feeling okay, that you were feeling uh, happy, you were feeling calm, you were feeling uh, not anxious, not overwhelmed, and retrace. And once you have that time frame, then you can kind of pinpoint, okay, so what happened in that time frame? Did I talk to somebody? and that got me upset. Did I remember something that I was supposed to do and I didn't do and now I'm feeling behind? That helps you understand where is this coming from and it shortens the time frame. 
And I know a lot of times people will talk about, it's like, I don't know, I just feel anxious. Well, trace it back to when was the last time that you felt okay? And maybe it was that morning, maybe it was the day before, whatever it is, what happened in between that time frame of how you feel now and the last time that you felt good. And then what you want to do is you want to look for the fear. Um, you want to, and when I say the fear is like, well, what is it that is causing you to feel anxious? Um, and so for one of the things I realized for me today was I went and I did that, <laughs> I did a repetitive pattern and I caught myself in it. And once I figured out, oh, okay, this is where the anxiety is coming from is I had said yes to something that I was like, ah, this spread me too thin. I didn't really have the bandwidth. So instead of beating myself up, once I realized where the fear was coming from, that is false evidence appearing real. Um, and it's like, okay, I took on an additional task that I really didn't have the bandwidth with, uh, for, and it, um, spread me a little bit too thin. And so once I recognized, okay, I was feeling good until I did that. And once I realized, oh, okay, that's where it's coming from. I went and spread myself a little bit too thin once again. And so it's good to feel that pain from that because now I still have to do it. I still have to follow through with the things that I said that I would do. But now, because of that discomfort, it's going to make me much more aware the next time I go to say yes to something when I didn't really have the bandwidth. I'm going to pause and I'm going to think before I say yes again when it should be something I should say no to, right? So retracing, when was the last time that you felt good to the time that you're feeling overwhelmed? What happened? And then you can start to um, analyze what it is that needs to change. Maybe it's, okay, you know what? I took this on, but I need to delegate these other things out because I took on this extra project, right? And so when you do that, then you can understand what's going on and how to um, alleviate some of that overwhelm and that anxiety that you're feeling. It allows you to deal with it a little bit more logically and um, it doesn't, it takes away that feeling of like, oh, I always feel anxious. I always feel overwhelmed, right? It, it's not that case. <laughs> so, 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 Breathe and detach, retrace your steps to the last time that you felt good and diagnose what's going on, uh, what caused you to feel that anxiety, okay? Uh, number three, attend to your physical needs. Hello, Summer, welcome. Okay, so attending to your physical needs. You have to use the HALT method. I've talked about this a few times. Um, HALT is, are you hungry? Are you angry? Are you lonely? Are you tired? Are you sick? Deal with those five things first. And a lot of times, once you deal with that, it's like, oh, you know, I'm not really anxious. I just haven't eaten in, I don't know, whether you're fasting or if it's four hours, whatever it is, you're like, I need some protein. I need some fresh vegetables, whatever it is. You need to eat something. And that usually will take the edge off. And now you're not so hangry, right? Um, so attend with the physical needs. Uh, if you find that, oh, geez, you know what? I'm tired, so I'm a little bit more sensitive than I normally will, uh, normally am. So therefore, I'm going to make sure I get a good sleep tonight and I'll be better in the, in the morning, right? So rather than letting the overwhelm get to you, you can kind of recognize, oh, some of this that I'm feeling is because and it's intensified because I'm feeling one of those things hungry angry lonely tired sick right okay and number four so when you have a whole to-do list you have a million things on that list and you couldn't possibly get them all done and you're like ah it seems like everything's a priority 
there's two ways that I will deal with this. Um, one is I will pick one thing. Usually if I'm really overwhelmed and I just need to uh, get myself calmed down, I'll pick something on my to-do list that is easy that I can just clear it off. Now I don't have to think about it. So it's like uh, focus on one thing and one to get it done. So that way it's off the list. You've crossed it off the list. It's no longer in your head that you still have to do this stuff and um, you are now feeling better because you at least got one thing done and then you can build on that success and continue to do something else. And also if it's an easy thing to just get done and get it off your list, it frees up some mental bandwidth and it allows you to be able to kind of reprioritize. It's like, okay, I got that one thing done. I feel a little bit better now. I can think a little bit more clearly and I can kind of go, okay, this should be the next thing that I do, right? And we can build on that success. You feel much better. You feel less anxious, less overwhelmed by that to-do list because you just got one thing done. The other way that I will handle this is if I know that there's something that, especially if I've been procrastinating on it for a while, I've been like, oh, I'll get to it, or I still have time, I still have time, I will force myself to focus on just that one thing. Every time a distraction comes up, I'll be like, no, I just need to get this one thing done. When that's done, then I can look at the list, then I can look at the other things, but every time I start to get distracted and go off track, then I will force myself to just get that one hard, difficult thing done off the list, and that usually releases a lot of the weight that you're carrying from that to-do list, uh, especially if you've been avoiding it or procrastinating on that particular subject. Just forcing yourself white knuckling it through and knowing that that's what you're going to have to do to get through that um, will definitely reduce that overwhelm. And it might be tempting in those particular times. It's like, well, I can just go do this little thing that doesn't really mean anything. And while that might make you feel better in the short term, if at the end of doing that, you know that you still have this big monster thing that you were supposed to take care of and you didn't take care of it, then that's going to cause you more anxiety, more overwhelm, and whatever benefit you had from getting the one small task done isn't something um, that will feel good in the long run. So um, forcing yourself to white knuckle through those difficult tasks and do that first. Get that done and out of the way. And no, don't leave that big task going, okay, I'll just clear up these little things and then I'll get to that so I can focus on it. Push all those little things aside and get that one big thing done. And um, you will feel much, much better. It takes a lot more effort, a lot more work, but there's a whole lot more reward on the other side when you are able to do that. And I typically, especially when I was in corporate, I would focus on that. The things that I hated to do, that I didn't want to do, that I knew if left to my own devices, I would avoid it or put it off to the next day. I would force myself to sit and do that. I wouldn't take any calls. I wouldn't take any meetings. And I would just get that thing done that I knew I needed to get done, right? Especially if I didn't really like doing it. I would get the hard stuff out of the way first. And then that freed up my time for the rest of the day. I felt more relaxed and I approached everything else that I was doing um, with a different mindset. So uh, a much happier mindset. So number five is celebrate your wins. So this and you're like, well, how does that help me with my to do list? You know, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, sometimes what I will do and especially if I'm feeling very, very overwhelmed and I just don't think I'll get anything done and I'm feeling that whole defeat kind of mentality where it's like, ah, what's the point? It's never going to get done. And you have that negative spiral already starting. 
instead of focusing on a to-do list, I will focus on creating a to-done list. And I will celebrate how many things I am able to put on that rather than looking at all of the things. Because even if I got a hundred things done and if I still have 200 things left to do, I still feel like I failed because I only did a hundred out of 300 things I needed to do. Whereas if I focus on just getting that hundred done, you're like, wow, look at all these things that I got done. Hundreds a bit much, but maybe it's 10 things. Maybe it's five things, whatever it is, focus on the to done and that will feel much better. You'll feel less uh, overwhelmed, less anxious about it. I used to do this crazy thing when I was on my lunch break and I always felt great is I would schedule things like I'd have to run to the bank or I'd have to run to the doctor's office or pick up some groceries and I would use my lunch hour and I'd run out, I'd go get all those things and if I was able to make three stops during my lunch and make it back on time, I felt like I was on top of the world, right? So you kind of have to gamify it a little bit and enjoy um, different processes and different techniques to be able to reduce that overwhelm and it will help you focus and help you get back on track so that you can actually get that to done list um, a little bit longer and you will feel much more accomplished and you'll be able to reprioritize are these things that I still need to do at least I can see that I'm still making progress I'm still moving forward and I got some things off my list so that's what I did for today is although I didn't complete all of the things and I still have more things that I need to do for tomorrow I focused on the fact that I got uh, three things that had been on my list for a while that I hadn't gotten around to, um, had kept putting off, putting off, putting off, and I finally got those done, taken care of today, and now I don't have to worry about them anymore. They're done. Psh, yay. Yay me. So celebrate your wins. Celebrate what it is that you're doing right instead of looking at the long list of things that you still have to do, you still haven't got enough time, and even if you did have enough time, you wouldn't be able to get everything done. Um, and that can also be a good signal that you maybe need to go back to breathe and detach and realize when you take that step back, if you have so many things on your to-do list that it's impossible. It's, if you calculate the time required for each of those, it's just impossible to get it done in the time frame. That may be an indicator that you need to ask for help. And that is a bonus one. And that's usually about where I leave it on my list. I tend to forget that I need to ask for help. So when I ask for help, if I um, go, okay, I can't do all of these things, I have to relook at the list and kind of ask myself, what are the things that only I can do? Only I can do, nobody else can do it. And ladies, I know we're guilty of this. Do not fall into the trap of like, oh, well, that only takes me two minutes. So I'll, I'll just do that. I'll, I'll just keep that. Oh, and that one takes only five minutes. I'll, I'll take care of that one too. And oh, oh, these three things are only like 10 minutes each. And we all know that two minutes isn't two minutes. Five minutes isn't five minutes and 10 minutes isn't 10 minutes. That's probably about two to three hours worth of stuff that you are just like, oh, I'm just going to keep it because I, I can get it done. Those are the things that need to come off your plate. Those are the things that you need to look at your list and kind of go, okay, these are the things that only I can do. Nobody else can do this. I have to create this uh, example, like a <laughs> uh, workout, right? Nobody else can do my workout for me. I got to do that. So I got to fit that in somewhere. Uh, even if it's not as long or maybe it's modified or whatever it is, but I need to be able to do that because nobody else can work out for me. <laughs> if somebody else can, let me know and uh, we'll, we'll see if we can work something out, but I don't think that's the case. So, um, yeah, so focus on those things, focus on what it is that 
only you can do and then asking for help for the other things or reprioritizing those do those need to be done within that time frame or can I move those out or when do these actually need to be done right and then getting clarification on those kind of things helps with that to do list of is, am I doing things in the right order in the right priority right and sometimes um, we can go through that list and there will be things there that you're like, ah, I really, I, I wanted to get this done today, but I can't do it because I need these three other components from somebody else. And until I get that, I can't work on this, which really sucks because I really wanted to work on this piece today. And so maybe you weren't prepared to work on the other things. So um, you may have to shift those priorities and kind of get to um, focusing on what it is that you need to do instead of the tasks that you thought you were going to do, right? So um, those are the tips and tricks that I use uh, myself to be able to help deal with that overwhelm, help mitigate those negative thoughts that come along with it that, you know, maybe you're never going to get it done, you're always behind, blah, 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 whatever the negative self-talk is, right? You definitely want to be able to switch that and shift that perspective so that you get to a happier place. So if this is your first time joining me, welcome everyone. There's two ways that you can catch the replay if you haven't um, been here from the start. Uh, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is Coach Tina B 125 Make you make sure that you click on the subscribe button so that you get notified when I upload the live video. And the other one is you're going to want to join the Happiness Coach uh, Facebook group and make sure that you answer the questions to get in the group. There's special training, special posts that I put in there that I'm not sharing anywhere else. So if you want free personal happiness coaching, then you're going to want to join that Facebook group. So guys, that is the training for tonight. I hope you found this helpful and we will talk to you later. Bye.